Stability is a perpetual topic. From the perspective of the entire development team, in addition to infrastructure, there are various development standards, white box and black box testing, and even contingency planning and disaster recovery drills. So, how is the stability ensured when application is deployed to SAE? Hello, and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today, let's talk about the high availability of SAE. From the infrastructure perspective, building a highly available and robust application requires attention to four main aspects. Prevention, detection, mitigation, and diagnosis. First is prevention, and its value is beyond doubt. SAE adopts multi-availability zone deployment, which can effectively cope with data center level failures. Batch gradual release, which starts with a small number of users for a new version release and gradually expands, rather than all at once, which can greatly reduce faults caused by releases. Health checks is an important means for SAE to determine whether your container is functioning normally. In non-microservice scenarios, the mainstream architecture is as follows. You have some instances and the platform is responsible for the life cycle of these instances, such as scaling up, scaling down, and whether to start in addition to a load balancer in front where an SAE instances serve as its back-end servers. Then, there are two critical issues. When do instances need to be restarted? When can they be mounted to the load balancer? The two issues correspond to two key approaches, liveness and readiness. Readiness determines when the container should be mounted on the load balancer, and liveness determines how to identify whether the container is alive and needs to be restarted. They both support three types of examination, HTTP, TCP, and command execution, as well as three critical parameters, delay time, timeout time, and examine period. Health checks can provide an accurate grasp of the health status of instances. After prevention comes detection, which means that when something goes wrong, I need to know as soon as possible instead of relying on user feedback after a long time, SAE provides default system level and application level monitoring capabilities, including CPU, memory average load, network inbound and outbound traffic, TCP connection count, disk throughput, and more, and supports multiple languages such as Java, PHP, Go, and Python, etc. In the event of a failure, SAE will send SAE application task runtime events and change events to customers who have subscribed to the rules, making it easier for engineers to respond in a timely manner. After an error occurs, quick mitigation is crucial. Firstly, SAE supports second-level elasticity and a variety of elasticity strategies, which can help you scale up in the first time to reduce losses. In addition, for the problematic online version, you can use the rollback function to roll back to the previous version in a timely manner. If you need to preserve the environment, the outlier removal feature will assist you. Then comes diagnosis, which is the key to thoroughly solving problems. Of course, logs are indispensable, and SAE provides various collection methods such as SLS collection, NAS collection, Kafka collection, etc. for users to use in different scenarios. In addition, SAE also provides the ability to analyze call chains, including QL call analysis, NoSQL call analysis, exception analysis, upstream and downstream tracing error analysis, and call chain query, etc. With the above methods, most problems can be solved. Finally, let's introduce SAE's Event Center. When your application is migrated to serverless compared to the previous cloud server mode, 
It is not easy, for instance, or containers to trace back some information because in the past you always had a virtual machine that you could go up and troubleshoot any issues. However, in the era of containers, they can be destroyed or restarted at any time and the data in the containers will also disappear. Therefore, SAE has created many specific events for different scenarios to subscribe and fill this gap in observability. For example, OOM is the OOM killer in Linux. Normally, after the killer destroys the old instance, the information in this regard cannot be seen anymore. However, SAE provides records and subscriptions for this kind of event, and we will cover more and more scenarios in the future. Today, we talk about SAE's capabilities in high availability, which will play a huge role in preventing detecting, mitigating, and diagnosing errors, helping you achieve automated operations and maintenance. If you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud's serverless app engine, click in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.